All right, so now that we have this formula, let's go through and calculate it for the three years that we need. So we are going to need the forward at time one, for one year from today, the forward two years from today, and the forward in three years. Okay, it's going to be the same formula, so 1.02 over 1.025, in this case, to the power of 1 times the spot rate of 74074. Okay, the second one is going to be 1.02 over 1.025 to the power of 2 times the same spot rate. And the third one is going to be as follows. It's the same thing to the power of 3 times 0 0.74074. Okay, so if I expand all of these out, I will calculate that in one year the spot rate will be 0 0.73713. In two years, the spot rate will be 0 0.73353. Uh, three. And then in three years, the spot rate will be 0.72995. So now we have all of the forward rates during the life of the project. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is create a cash flow. Okay, so what we want in step three is to convert the foreign cash flows to home currency. Okay, so what are the foreign cash flows? So let's do it by year. So year zero, one, two, and three. So in year zero, there's really three cash flows. You have an investment, and then you have the, um, I'll call it revenue or income from the machine, and then you have the salvage value, which you get at the very end. So the initial investment was 5 million euros. The revenue was given, and that's going to be a negative. So the revenue was given as 1250 in year one. In year two, it was 1500. And in year three, it was 2 million. And then the resale was in year three. At the end of the life of the machine, you could sell it for 2500. Okay, so if I add all of these up, I will get the cash flows, and this will be in euros. So year one, you have negative five million, or year zero, which is uh, right now, and then year one you have twelve fifty. Year two you have one point five million, and in year three you have four point five million. So those are the cash flows in euros. And how do we convert them to Canadian dollars? You multiply by exchange rates. And we have calculated the exchange rates uh, above. Okay, So I'm just going to take all of these numbers here that we've calculated. And I'm going to transpose them. And put them down below. Okay, so for the spot rate is for today and then forwards for one, two, and three. So let's just put this in. The spot rate is 0 0.74074. The one year forward rate is 0.73713. Two year forward rate is 0.73353. And then the fourth year, or the third year forward rate is 0.72995. Okay, so if I multiply each of the euros by those rates, I get the cash flow in Canadian dollars as follows. So in year one, we end up with a cash flow of Canadian dollars of negative $6.5 million. Um, in year, or sorry, not year one, in, in year zero, which is now. 
uh, and now that's going to be a negative. The rest are all going to be positive. So in year one, it'll be Canadian dollars of 1695.772. In year two, it will be 2,044,902. And then in year three, it'll be um, 6 million. 164777 and that will also be positive. So now we have Canadian dollar cash flows uh, that we can use to run a net present value calculation on.